continuing where we left off in the last video, finding the central angle. To find the central angle or radius of a sector given the arc length, first substitute given values in the formula S equals theta R, where S is the arc length, theta is the central angle measured in radians, and R is the radius of the circle. Then solve for the missing value. Find the radian measure of an angle at the center of a circle of radius five meters. The angle intercepts an arc length of 12.5 meters. We are given R equals five and S equals 12.5. Since we are looking for the angle, the units of distance do not matter. S equals theta R, so theta equals S divided by R, which is 12.5 divided by five, which is equal to 2.5 radians. Find the radius of an arc if the length of the arc is 8.22 centimeters and the intercepted central angle is three radians. We are given S equals 8.22 centimeters and theta equals three radians. The answer will be in centimeters. S equals theta times R means that R equals S divided by theta, which is 8.22 centimeters divided by three, which is 2.74 centimeters. To find the area of a sector, using degrees, first calculate the portion of the circle included in the sector. Theta is the central angle measured in degrees. So theta over 360 is the fractional part of a circle. Second, find the fractional part of the area of the circle. The area of a sector is equal to theta over 360 times pi r squared, where pi r squared is equal to the area of the circle. Using radians, substitute known values into the formula, the area of the sector is equal to one half pi r squared, where theta, sorry, that should be one half theta r squared, where theta is the central angle measured in radians and r is the radius of the circle. Then solve for the missing value, most likely a, the area of the sector. Find the area of a sector with a central angle of 45 degrees in a circle with a radius of 10 inches, round to hundredths. Here, theta equals 45 degrees and r equals 10 inches. Since theta is measured in degrees, we use the formula a sector equals theta over 360 times r squared. So the area of the sector is equal to 45 over 360 times pi times 10 squared, which is 0 0.125 times pi times 100, which is 12.5 pi inches squared, square inches. That's the exact area. And that is 39.26990817 inches squared or square inches. The area of the sector rounded to two decimal places is 39.27 square inches. A cone is made from sheet metal. To form a cone, a sector with a central angle of 40.33 degrees is cut from a metal circle whose diameter is 20 inches. Find the area of the stretch out, the portion of the circle, that is used to form the cone, round to the nearest hundredth. Here, theta equals 40.33 degrees and d equals 20 inches. Since r is 1 half d, r equals 10 inches. The area for the cone is equal to the area of the circle minus the area of the sector removed. So the area of the sector is 40.33 divided by 360 times pi times 10 squared, which is 40.33 over 360 times 3.14159265, which is 0 0.1122702778 times 314.159264, which is 35.1945643. Circle has an area of pi times 10 squared, which is 314.159264, so the area of the cone is the area of the circle minus the area of the sector, 314.159265 minus 35.1945643, which is 278.964701 or about 278.96 square inches. Find the area to the nearest 10th of a sector that has a central angle of 1.6 radians and has a radius of 7.2 inches. Here, theta equals 1.6 radians and r equals 7.2 inches. 
we use the formula, the area of a sector is equal to one half theta r squared. So the area of the sector is equal to one half times 1.6 times 7.2 squared, which is equal to 41.5 square inches when rounded. If a line segment called a chord joins the endpoints of the radii that form a sector, the sector is divided into two figures, a triangle and a segment. A chord is a line segment joining two points on the circumference of a circle. The portion of the circumference cut off by a chord is an arc. A segment of a circle is the portion of the area of a circle bounded by a chord and an arc. Because the chord divides a sector into a triangle and a segment, we can calculate the area of the segment by subtracting the area of the triangle from the area of the sector. To find the area of a segment, substitute known values into the formula. Using degrees, we have the area of the segment is equal to theta over 360 times pi r squared minus 1 half dh. Using radians, we have the area of the segment is equal to 1 half theta r squared minus 1 half dh, where theta over 360 times pi r squared or 1 half pi r, uh, theta r squared is the area of the sector and 1 half dh is the area of the triangle. Then evaluate. Find the area to the nearest hundredth of a segment of a circle with radius 9.25 inches, where the central angle is 90 degrees, the chord is 13.08 inches, and the height of the triangle formed is 6.54 inches. There are two ways to tackle this problem. Since we have two possible bases and heights for the triangle, we can either look at the base as the chord and the height as the height given, or we can consider both the base and height to be radii of the circle, so both are 9.25 inches. The book uses the first method, so we will as well, but we can check our answer by using the second method. The area of the segment is theta over 360 pi r squared minus 1 half bh, which is 90 degrees over 360 times pi times 9.25 squared minus 1 half times 13.08 times 6.54, which is 67.20063036 minus 42 0.7716, which gives us a segment area of 24.42903036. The area of the segment when we round it off is 24.43 square inches. If we calculate it using the radius as the base and height of the triangle, we get 24.42 square inches instead. This is due to rounding of the lengths of the chord and height of the triangle. So we consider the answers close enough to be correct.